Alex Azar would be a star for better healthcare and lower drug prices, Mr. Trump said Mr. Azar was a high-ranking executive at drug company Eli Lilly for 10 years at P. Donald Trump's pick for health secretary, Alex Azar, was previously an executive at a pharmaceutical company that repeatedly raised the prices of its drugs and tripled the cost of its top-selling insulin over the five years he served as a company president. It has emerged, Mr. Trump announced his choice on Monday, tweeting that Mr. Azar would be a star for better healthcare and lower drug prices, if Mr. Azar becomes Health and Human Services HHS Secretary, he will oversee a $1 TR 76 billion pounds department responsible for America's major insurance programs, including Obamacare, public health, medical research and food and drug safety. He would succeed Tom Price, who resigned in September after allegedly using private and government planes at the expense of taxpayers. The nomination has sparked criticism, however, over Mr. Azar's own track record at Eli Lilly, a pharmaceuticals giant that was one of several to repeatedly increase the price of insulin, a life-saving drug used to treat diabetes. Happy to announce, I am nominating Alex Azar to be the next HHS secretary. He will be a star for better healthcare and lower drug prices. Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump November 13, 2017 Mr. Azar worked as HHS Deputy Secretary under President George W. Bush from 2005 to 2007 before joining drug maker Eli Lilly as a Senior Vice President of Corporate Affairs and Communications, according to his LinkedIn profile. He served as a high-ranking executive at the company for 10 years, becoming the president of Lilly USA in 2009, and was with the company as it tripled the price of its insulin product, Humalog. Just over a year ago, the Washington Post reported that the price of Humalog had risen from $21.16 pounds a vial to more than $250.190 pounds over the past 20 years. The Trump Organization is worth one-tenth of value previously reported Democrat Senator Bernie Sanders condemned the nomination on Twitter, writing Trump was clearly never serious about this promise to lower drug prices, Donald Trump announced Mr. Azar as his pick for HHS Secretary on Monday Getty We need an HHS Secretary who will take on the drug industry's greed, not someone who has financially benefited from it. Last year, Mr. Sanders called for a federal probe into whether Eli Lilly, Sanofi saw, Merco Inc. and Novo Nordisk colluded to raise prices on insulin and other drugs used to treat diabetes. Democrat Senator Jeff Merkley was also critical of the nomination, tweeting if my priority were bringing down our X prices, I probably wouldn't cap a pharmaceutical industry exec accused of colluding to drive up the cost of insulin. Mr. Ezzer's nomination is unusual because HHS secretaries have previously come from the ranks of elected officials, such as governors, or top executive branch managers, rather than coming from the industry meant to be regulated by the department. The pharmaceuticals executive has been critical of Obamacare in the past. In a May interview with Fox Business Network, Mr. Azar said Obamacare was circling the drain and was part of a fundamentally broken system. It's certainly circling the drain, Mr. Azar said of the Affordable Care Act. Obamacare plans are following the laws of economics. First, if you're running an insurance company, you've got to be able to make money, and in order to make money, you've got to be able to predict risk. Trump has his own awkward water bottle moment. The Obamacare system has made it impossible to predict risk. The HHS secretary nominee added there's actually fairly few levers that the government can do at this point to stabilize this broken system. Protect. Our care campaign director Brad Woodhouse also criticized the nomination, writing in a statement President Trump has nominated in Mr. Azar someone who shares his misguided and factually flawed views on the Affordable Care Act. Mr. Azar, a drug industry lobbyist, has been a harsh critic of the ACA and has gone so far as to say the lie is circling the drain despite evidence to the contrary. In fact, the ACA is working despite President Trump and former HHS Secretary Tom Price's repeated efforts to repeal and sabotage it. Open enrollment is off to a strong start plans remain affordable and every county in the country is covered. The nomination of a new HHS secretary could be an opportunity for Trump and Republicans to turn the page on their repeal and sabotage agenda, Mr. Woodhouse said. Cards Against Humanity Saves America advert fights Trump's Mexico border wall Sadly, we know President Trump will never turn the page, and in Mr. Azar, he appears to be looking for a willing partner in his spiteful ongoing campaign to deny affordable health care to millions of Americans. Before Mr. Azar can take up the role as HHS secretary, his nomination must be approved by the Republican-controlled U.S. Senate. The Independent has reached out to Mr. Azar and Eli Lilly for comment. More about Donald Trump U.S. Insulin Diabetes Reuse Content We use cookies to enhance your visit to our site and to bring you advertisements that might interest you. Read our privacy and cookie policies to find out more.